In this video, we're gonna try out and review eyelid and eyelash products from a company called We Love Eyes. These are products that are designed to clean the eyelids, the eyelashes, and even eyelash extensions. I've had several patients and viewers ask about it, and I personally have never tried it myself, so I got a couple of their products, figured we'd try them out and see if they're worth the hype. Let's take a look. Hey, what's up everyone? Dr. Joseph Allen here from the Dr. Eye Health Show, helping you learn all about the eyes, vision, and finding the best vision products. Now today, we're gonna to be doing a We Love Eyes review. These are all products meant for, again, cleaning the eyelids, the eyelashes, helping treat blepharitis. It's got tea tree oil in it to help with Demodex, all sorts of cool stuff. Now these are products that are often sold in eye clinics, but you can find them online. So if you wanna see additional information, updated prices, all of that, I'll put links in the description below so you can find that out easily. First up is the We Love Eyes Foaming Cleanser. Now these foaming cleansers and a lot of different products on the market for cleaning the eyelids do have tea tree oil in them. And that's because tea tree oil is supposed to have good healing effects for the skin. It also has some antimicrobial properties to kill nasty bacteria and things like Demodex. You know, the nasty dust mite that can burrow into your eyelashes and live there. Yeah, tea tree oil can help with that. But the important thing for a lot of these eyelid products is that uh, the tea tree oil has to be diluted because if you use pure tea tree oil on your skin, it can burn you, so don't do that. Now I know a lot of eye clinics do recommend these products, and mainly it's because of what's written on the box. It's oil-free, vegan, cruelty-free, gluten-free, paraben-free, formaldehyde-free, with no fake fragrances. All right, so suggested for use, uh, need to remove my contact lenses prior to using it. All right. Contacts are out, glasses on, let's do this. Now it says in the directions to use a cleaning brush from the same company, which I don't have. So instead I'm just gonna use a little cotton swab here. So nice foamy stuff here. Oh. Now you don't wanna get this in your eye, but you do wanna just clean your lashes. So far it's feeling pretty good, but I will admit I can feel a little bit of tingly sensation. And I'm pretty sure that's from the tea tree oil, but it's not too bad. There are some other products uh, that have eyelid cleansers and stuff that has tea tree oil in it that burn a lot. Okay, so now I'm just gonna kind of gently wipe it off with some water here. Just like inspecting that pads to see if like stuff came off my eyelids. But hopefully you guys can see it right now if my eyelids look any more sparkly and clean. As far as the tingly sensation goes, again, usually you get tingly sensation from the tea tree oil. It doesn't burn too bad, but depending on the concentration, if it's a higher concentration of tea tree oil in the product, you will feel more burning. I'm not sure what the concentration is of this though, but it must be pretty low. Doesn't really sting bad. Feels pretty good. Okay, next up is the We Love Eyes Makeup Remover, which I love on the side. It says it's only a walk of shame because you didn't remove your eye makeup. Oh my gosh, that is brilliant. I'll be honest, this feels a little weird for me. I have not put on makeup since, I don't know, I was in like drama or a musical in high school. And to do this, I'm gonna try out some different eyeliners, one from a company called Eyes Are The Story and the other one called 2020 Beauty. These are specifically designed to be eye healthy and safe. Okay, what a what a nightmare, like complete hack job this was. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how you ladies do it. Here I am just like a 33 year old man trying his best. I can't say, I can't wait to try out the eye, this, this makeup remover. All right, dispense two to five drops onto a cotton pad. With eyes closed, gently rub onto eyelids and eyelashes. Oh. Well, makeup is coming off and then wash off residue with We Love Eyes Foaming Cleanser. Lots more makeup coming off. Now I can't see, so how good did it clean off? <laughs> oh my gosh, it actually did clean off pretty well. Overall, I think it did clean it off pretty good. I just have a little bit of residue left on the bottom right eyelid over here, but uh, it's clear that you don't just want to get the uh, We Love Eyes tea tree eyelid and eyelash makeup remover, you do want to get kind of the combo uh, because you do kind of need the foaming cleanser to kind of wash the oil and makeup off afterward. But for my first try with makeup, um, actually it doesn't feel too bad. Now onto the We Love Eyes eye roller. Okay, now to be honest, I, I wasn't entirely sure what an eye roller was at first. 
Now this cool little thing does have a little bit of a weight to it, which feels kind of nice. Uh, and then I guess you can put it under cold water or warm running water and then have like a coolness or warm effect. Ooh. Now this is just at room temperature, but the steel feels pretty cool. And you're supposed to roll it gently on your eyelids to decrease puffiness and otherwise like tone your eyelids, especially maybe in the morning after, you know, sleeping. Now I ran this under cold water and it does feel pretty good. That is kind of soothing. But for depuffing the eyes, uh, I don't know. Do they seem less puffy? It does feel pretty good, I'll give them that. Okay, now we have the We Love Eyes AM Eyelid Gel. The purpose is to improve the appearance of your skin tone, fine lines, dark circles, and under eye bags. It's supposed to have a bunch of antioxidants and Vigna aconitifolia. Not sure what that is. It says a natural alternative to retinol. If you've never heard of retinol before, it's mainly used in acne medications and it's supposed to help produce uh, more collagen in your skin. The downside for a lot of retinol is, uh, well, we'll get into that in another video, but Basically, retinol too much uh, has been found to cause death of meibomian glands and ultimately dry eyes. So this is uh, cool, maybe a safer alternative. This is like this kind of cool little eyelid applicator thing. I've never seen anything like this. It says apply a thin layer under eye area every morning, but do not get in the eyes. Ew. This is gonna have a little bit on the tip here. Not really sure how much I'm supposed to spread around. Ooh. Oh boy, that, I think I might have gotten a little bit in my eye. That kind of stings. It actually kind of feels like a mild burning sensation on my skin. Hopefully I'm not having an allergic reaction. It does say, warning, if rash develops, stop use and consult your doctor. Smart. Now the whole point of a lot of these eyelid serums is to basically tighten up the skin underneath to make it look less apparent of those big under eye bags or swollen puffy eyelids. And with that less puffiness, you have less shadows cast from light, which seems like less darkened uh, under eye circles, those sort of things. I've mentioned that in other videos. Uh, again, these sort of solutions are usually just temporary and you do have to keep using them. So far though, it doesn't feel bad after that little stinging. All right, so now what's good about a lot of these different products? So far, I've had a good experience. I like the eyelash cleanser probably the most so far. It's probably something I'd see myself more using, mainly because I have to clean my eyelids every night uh, and it doesn't cause too much of a stinging, but there's a little bit there with the tea tree oil. Being that I'm not a makeup wearer, probably won't be using the eye, uh, the makeup remover, but uh, it seemed to be working pretty good. I've never used other products, so it's hard for me to compare it. The eye roller, I actually do find this pretty comforting. Imagine if I did wake up one morning, my eyelids were puffy, I would want to put something cold on there just to kind of constrict all the blood vessels and, and make it feel better. And perhaps this is just a way to get it more focused, kind of a pinpoint area. But I do think it's pretty cool that you can go ahead and put it in warm water or cold water and kind of enhance the effect. And finally, the eyelid gel. I would say uh, for me, it did sting a little bit more and it did cause more of a tacky feeling on my skin. But I mean, if it does make your eyelids look less puffy and reduces dark circles, I mean, that would be a game changer for a lot of people. But hey, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see my reaction and reviews of other eyelid and lash cleaning products, check out some of our next videos coming up. Otherwise, keep an eye on it and we'll talk to you soon. Now for this, whoop, drop that.